purpose of object diagram. In the previous video, we have discussed that object diagram is based on the class diagram. Instance of a class is known as an object. So, at first we are supposed to make the class diagram ready, then we shall go for the instantiation of those classes to make the object diagram. Object diagram also depicts the static view of the system, but that is for a certain instant of time. The purpose of a diagram should be understood clearly to implement it practically. The purposes of object diagrams are similar to the class diagram. So, in the class diagram videos, we have discussed what are the different aspects of the class diagram. So, the same purposes are also applicable in case of our object diagram. The difference is that a class diagram represents an abstract model consisting of classes and their respective relationships. We discussed there are four different types of relationships we are having. So, one is our association, another one is our generalization, another one is our dependency and another one is our aggregation relationship. So, four relationships we had in our class diagram. So, all of them will be same will be applicable in our object diagram also. To, to know about their detailing with the respective uh, examples and all, please watch the class diagram videos. So, difference is that a class diagram represents an abstract model consisting of classes and their respective relationships. However, an object diagram represents an instance of a particular moment which is created in nature during the application runtime. So, here is one example for us. What is customer? Customer is, is nothing but a class. What is the object which you have defined under this customer class? So, that is our C. So, there is a way to write this one. There is an object name colon class name. So, there is a there is a very typical way to write this. This is a object name. And what is this? This is a O1. Nothing but one of the objects under the class order. O2 is another object and O3 is another object under the class order. So, here we are having this respective property. So, property is number which will be might be of integer type. So, that is why I have put this 12, 32 and this 40 and from this order we have inherited this normal order and the special order. So, normal order or special order they are nothing but the derived classes from this order class and this respective concrete classes are having the number is equal to 20 number is equal to 30 and number is equal to 30. So, they have got instantiated. So, what is instantiation? You see until and unless we reserve some memory space against the attribute number, we cannot keep any value on them. So, depending upon the language in which we are going to implement, how many bytes will be required to store one integer? Let it be 4 bytes which is common in most of the programming object oriented programming languages. So, in those cases for this number 4 bytes of memory space will be reserved because it is the instantiation of the class. The name of the class is special order and the object name is S1. So, special order is the class name and object name is S1 and number is the respective property or the attribute which is there defined and it is holding the value 20 there. So, here we are having this respective relationships we are having and this is the object diagram of one order management system. So, let us go for some more summary. So, it means that the object diagram is closer to the actual system behavior. The purpose is to capture the static view of a system at a particular instant or moment. The purpose of object diagram can be summarized as forward and reverse engineering from the model to the application develop. So, this application development from the model if you come that is a forward engineering and if you come in the reverse order that is a reverse engineering. So, object relationship of a system how the objects are getting related, how the relationships are existing and then static view of an interaction and understand object behavior and the relationship from a practical perspective. So, these are the respective purpose of our object diagram. Please watch next videos. Those videos will be also on this object diagram defining different aspects of it. Thanks for watching this.